Hello and welcome to another episode of BK Plays Pokemon Blue. In this episode, we will take on the tomboyish mermaid of Cerulean City. Okay, Misty, if you didn't understand that. Um, so this gym specializes in water types. Uh, this guy is no help. He just, well, he is kind of help. He just tells you that um, she's water Pokemon and you can defeat her with uh, grass and electric Pokemon, which is what we're going to do, since uh, water is, water will screw over the Charmander. Anyway, first guy here, you can avoid him by going, by turning left when you get in, but I wanted to try and get everyone out of the way. As there's, well, everyone, in, every Pokemon in this, um, Jim is a brand new Pokemon to us at the moment. First off is Horsey, the water horse. The seahorse, yes actually. Um, as you can tell from its form and name, I mean Horsey, seahorse, you know. Um, and it's not doing a great deal of damage on Bellsprout, but Bellsprout has won that round. This may or may not be a long video. I'm not only going to take on Cerulean Gem, but I'm also going to go to the, um, what's it called, the daycare centre. And this is Sheldar, the, I guess it's an oyster? I'm not too sure. Anyway, um, want to beat the gym, we're going to heal up, get dig, go into that little, um, little house that got, in, that got robbed by Team Rocket grab their TM that they stole, which is Dig, and then head on down to the next city, which I can't remember what the name is. I think it's Vermillion, Vermillion, I have possibly Vermillion, I'm not sure. Anywho, this woman here, she's not the gym leader, Misty is the woman above her, but this chick here has a Goldeen, which, uh, uh, there's a pin in the arse, I guess. A couple of levels, high, um, a couple of levels higher than us, me, it, whatever. But it can go down pretty easily if I keep using Vine Whip. Um, it's using. I hope if it stays, if it keeps using Tail Whip, then it's all good. But oh no, I used Pep, and I'm down. Okay. Oh, looks like it's Pikachu's. So, and it's down. So next stop is just Misty, and obviously she has two. Not obviously, but she has two water Pokémon. And if it's as this game kind of sticks to the um, the anime, kind of, or well, the anime actually sticks to this. Uh, she has Star Me and Star You to uh, sea stars starfish that's what they called she has the two starfish um, two water starfish pokemon thingies and she's wearing a bathing suit awesome anyway star you the pre evolution pre evolution the uh, yeah first stage whatever goes down pretty easily one more attack and it's down and does fuck all damage. 10 HP damage, not not that much. I mean, it's quite a bit, but not that much, you know. And that next is Star Me. Yeah, Star Me. The evolved form of Star You, and a bit tougher, and it's level 21 now. Which, no, well, it uh, didn't work too well. But hopefully, I will get it down now because it just used a item, which means I get two shots. Well, so it should. Oh. Bastards. And Water Gun did quite a bit of damage. I need myself a Water Pokemon. So, let's star me down. And that's the gym beaten. Wow. First five minutes of the video, and we've already beaten a gym. Sweet. And got a Cascade badge. Now, she gives you, other than 20, 2079 Pokedollars, 
she, also, she gives you the badge, and she gives you her favourite TM. Oh, and the Cascade badge lets you cut, use cut at the battle, uh, which we need to still get cut, and we should be doing that next um, episode. She gives you TM11, which, if I'm not mistaken, is Water Gun or Bubble Beam. I can't remember. Um, I'll probably check, check it at some point. But yeah, time to heal because the next bit is kind of not not long or hard, but it's kind of out of the way. And there's train there's two trainers you cannot avoid. So let's go. Oh, actually there's kind of three. There's a sense of Team Rocket as well. But yeah, only one member of Team Rocket. So just follow the path back to Nugget Bridge and ignore Nugget Bridge completely. Walk straight past it like I'm doing now, and go in this house here. They were robbed by Team Rocket. Uh, trying to use the dig, blah blah blah. He tells you that uh, Rocket, Team Rocket stole dig. Yeah, the TM. Teaches you how to dig holes. <laughs> so you just battle this guy. Hey, stay out, oh, it's not your yard, hurt me. I'm an innocent bystander, don't you believe me? Um, yeah, why does Team Rocket have a whip? That still doesn't... Uh, so he uses my chop, which is a pain in the arse, especially with a uh, bell sprout out in front, because one whip doesn't really do that much damage, not enough damage, and he keeps using karate chop. Oh yeah, and uh, bell sprout once reached level 15, learnt poison powder. And I never get to use rap. <coughs> and now Charm and I might as well Charm and I might as well come ahead and he, I will I will um make Charmander evolve as soon as he learns Rage at level twenty two. Which I don't reach uh, in this episode. I will just do it off screen. But I won't let him evolve until I record again. Alright, twenty one. So next, if we get him to level up once more, he will learn Rage. Ooh, Drowsy. Brand new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. Psychic Pokemon, and it's, you need um either a high-level Pokemon, or I think it's... Oh, Fighting-type is good against Drowsy and its Psychic counterparts. Might as well heal up very quickly. Uh, since we're running low on HP. And. Ha! Nothing. Which means we're gonna kill it. And. It's down. Good. Good, 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 good. good. <coughs> so now Charman will try evolving again. Stop! I give up! I'll leave quietly. No, he's not gonna evolve. Don't lie to me. You liar! See? Stopped evolving. Right, this guy gives you back TM28, which is Dig, and then goes off. Um, I think it's Dig. Anyway. Uh, is it Dig? I'm just gonna quickly use some stuffs. For some reason, I don't think it's actually Dig. Oh yeah, you can sell your nugget for him. Um, Let's just go to the Pokemon. Um, talk to this guy, I figure that he tells you that he decided to teach his Diglett dig without the TM. So, yes, TM, whatever, TM24, was um, dig. And I'm going this way around for no reason. I just chose to go the long way around, which I wasn't meant to do. Talk to the guy. <coughs> You can sell your nugget for five thousand pokey bucks, pokey dollars, pokey whatever. What did he have I could buy? No, uh, nothing. Okay. So now let's get the hell out. Uh, maybe heal. I might. Ah. Yeah, sorry, I'm speeding this up. Yep. Um.
Oops. Okay, TM28 is dig and TM11 is bubble beam. Okay. I had to sort that out. I, it was kind of bugging me. Um, I'll go back through here and just go down a bit. Now here you can't go until you have cut, which you need to get. And what the fuck is with this? Why is this little stairs there? Down here, you go straight down. That's the next place. But going down here, this you get to. If you find a Pokemon, it can be a Pokemon you haven't come across yet, or it might not be. Depends. Um, and we get. No, oh, we just get a Pidgey. All right. And might as well take him down very quickly. It's down. It doesn't have a sex, gender, whatever. Alright. This is the daycare center. He'll he'll take care of one of your Pokemon. You can just run off. Oh, that's a bookcase. Just keep going down. Uh, you can't go through here. Be because he, the guy's thirsty, so the road's closed. You know how you do. So you go through the under underground from Cerulean to Vermilion. Cerulean. Don't know how to pronounce it properly. Oh, so I'm sorry. So go down the underpath, go to Vermilion. Uh, this person tells you hints that you need the item finder to uh, find items because people drop them. Up there is the way back. These two you can avoid easily. This guy, same thing, just go get, in, get into Pokemon battles with random wild Pokemon in the grass. But that's how you avoid. These two you cannot avoid. See? Furthest part that you can still get into the bit, uh, into the city, and they bloody annoy you. Um, level 16 Pidgey. Her and her boyfriend, I think it's a boyfriend, I don't know, or care, uh, battle you. This chick has three Pidgeys, and I choose to have Charmander. Go ahead and attack him, beat him, kick their asses. And of course, it uses a uh, sand attack, and then gust. Frigging. Freaking great. No. Okay, two down, one to go. Uh, quick attack straight away. Might as well use Ember. And I keep missing. Uh, change attack and I hit. Watch. Yeah, thought so. Ah, well, it's done. What's done is done. It's down. Now, uh. Yeah. I'm back at normal pace. Uh, this guy you have to battle, as I said. Two Pokemon, it has a Spearow, a pain in the ass bird that only has one evolution. Easily taken down with uh, Pikachu's Thundershock. And sorry if you can hear crying, that's my little sister outside the door. Uh, so yeah, Spearow's down. Where Pikachu's now level 28. Very close to level 30. Uh, cannot. Oh, now it has a Raticate. Charmander might as well go up. Uh, we can't level up Pikachu to over level 30 because it might not listen to us anymore. And that's not how a good Pokemon acts. So we need to beat the bastard. Killed Charmander. Fine, Pikachu's back out. Uh, we need to beat Lieutenant Surge to get. You, know, you get cut from the SSN. But, um, yeah, next time we go next episode we're going through the SSN. And nothing else. Just through the SSN. It's quite a big bit. It's quite a big boat. Um Yeah. We need to beat Lieutenant Surge in the episode after that, possibly. So that we can uh train Pokemon high over level 31. 30. Okay, this is Cerulean City. Uh there's a Pokemon Center to heal up. Next door, I think it's next door. Um, is the Pokemon Club, which we will not go through today, uh, this episode. Uh, so I think that's it for this episode. Uh, we got two, three, maybe four evolutions in. That's pretty good progress. Bit gym, bit beat a gym leader, and everything. So that's it for today. Uh, next episode we go through the SSN and beat everyone that's in there. So please like if you like the episode, if you like the video, subscribe and comment. Uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.